Sometimes we find ourselves in the position where we have a ton of textures that need to be modified. And rather than editing them one by one, there's a really powerful tool that we can use to do all of them. So let's take a look at that right now. In here, I'm gonna pick out three textures by control, holding down the control key on the keyboard and left mouse button, control select. And with them selected, I'm going to right click, then go to asset actions in the menu. And then over to the right, we're gonna select bulk edit via property matrix. And that is going to open up a window where it's going to show all of our textures right here. And there's a lot of options that you can change in bulk edit just by selecting different things here. Now, in this particular case, I want to change the level of detail because sometimes what happens when you buy an asset pack from the marketplace, the textures will come in not at their highest resolution, but the developer will have it you know, maybe at a level of detail uh, one or two to save space or to make it faster for gameplay and things like that. So if you want to have it at the highest resolution, so it looks the best if you're doing like film kind of work or that type of graphics, you want to go over here to the right, select level of detail, and then the LOD, level of detail bias, will show you uh, where it's at. So for example, let's say that this particular asset was level of detail two. I just changed that to two. And if we go over here, you can see that all those textures are changed to the level of detail two. In this case, I want it at the highest resolution, which is zero. So put zero and that will change them all right there. Then I always go to save all. And now the textures down here are all going to be in the high resolution. So this is a real time saver. Say if you have, you know, hundreds of textures in your project, you can just shift select or control select all of them and just go to the property matrix by right clicking asset actions bulk edit via property matrix. And here they are, all of them. And that's how this is done in a, in a bulk way. Hope this helps.